The most likely reason that the United States will have a civil war involves the Presidential Succession Act of 1947. In this act, the Speaker of the House is named third in line of presidential succession. In the last 25 years, the Speaker of the House has only been the same party of the President for 10 years. Six years with Hassard and Bush, two years with Pelosi and Obama, and two years with Ryan and Trump. The 1947 Act was a throwback to the law passed in 1792, where the Speaker was fourth in line to the President, with the President pro temp being right after the Vice President. Both laws mean that the party in the White House can change with the death of two people. Unfortunately, there were highly politicized times when a group of people wanted to remove more than one person from office without using legal means. William Seward, as Secretary of State, would have been fifth in line for president, but maybe they just didn't like him, or there were more victims ready. He survived. If George Azeroth would have actually tried to assassinate Andrew Johnson and succeeded, it would have caused Lafayette S. Foster to become president. Lafayette was a Republican, just like the Speaker of the House, Schuyler Koufax. The party in power still would not have changed. However, the Presidential Succession Act of 1886 took the President pro temp and the Speaker of the House out of the presidential line of succession. So no longer could a group of extremists change the party in power with violence. The Presidential Succession Act of 1947 also has a problem with the definition of officer and something called bumping, but I'll let someone else make the video about that. When our nation is as divided as it is now, it makes no sense to have a law that allows a party to come into power that is against what the voters want. Having a majority in Congress, the opposing party of the president, creates a moderating effect. As it stands now, the Presidential Succession Act of 1947 is a red flag for extremists.